is Karen getting on today? I think Karen is okay. Uh, I think she was a little bit grumpy last night. Um, but I think we've got uh, the grumpiness might be sort of fizzling away. And why was she grumpy? Um, well, apparently I made some promises that I wasn't keeping. sat down and had a hot meal which was very welcoming and uh, a nice rest I just had a nice continental breakfast because we're on the continent so that's what you have you know when in Rome do as the Romans do so you're feeling refreshed and ready to go refreshed raring to go although it is raining again which doesn't make me happy but hey and how is Karen getting on today I think Karen is okay uh, I think she was a little bit grumpy last night um, but I think we've got uh, the grumpiness might be sort of fizzling away and why was she grumpy um, well, apparently I made some promises that I wasn't keeping. Like what, So, I said that I would get a Starbucks. And I did get us a Starbucks <laughs> at our first service station stop. Then I accidentally threw away her water, which wasn't finished, even though there was only like that left in it. So I promised her a water and I got her a water. That was really good. But that grumpiness ensued because I promised and then was intimating that I might not be able to get said device, which was a travel plug, which is buried in the back of the van. But, oh no, I got that as well. So I came up on three of my promises. So, why was she so grumpy then? Because those promises she thought were being broken, but they weren't because I acted on them in my own time because I like to do things in my own time. Do you not think it was because she was a little bit tired yesterday and exhausted from all the travelling and that she really needed to rest up a bit? I mean, there was that as well, yes, but you know. What, what, what can I say? You know, this is a this is a long drive. Uh, well, you have to be considerate, Roberto. You don't... must understand that. <laughs> Being male, I mean, men don't always really factor in those things, do they? Really? No, so. no. Maybe, maybe we don't. Yeah. Um, I don't even know whether we're actually halfway through our journey yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where are you off to today? So today we've just left. Um, a small little town called Vels, which is near Lands, 
and we're now heading up the road again to Vienna. We wanted to get to Vienna last night, uh, but the traffic was so bad, the weather was atrocious, and we were not going to be getting into Vienna until really, really late. So we stopped a bit early to find somewhere, and I think it was a good call. So we are 117 miles away from Vienna at the moment, and then we're going to push right through to Budapest, and then carry on down to the southeast corner of Hungary and hopefully cross the border into Romania in, ooh, looking at this sat nav, roughly six hours time. Oh, excellent. That's well, good going though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too well, bad. Well, catch up with you later, Thank you, yes. <laughs> Satnav has just rerouted me and I cut to, to turn left, but that's a no entry. Oh. Can you have a smile, please? The camera. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Roberto's not a very happy boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I haven't been filming, Robert's not happy with me because I've been on the phone to somebody very important over in Ukraine. I've got a telling off. I told you. I told you it was like this. You don't believe me, all you people out there watching it, but it's true. So now I've decided to film anything and everything. <laughs> Interesting, Interesting exterior. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're about to go. Oh, that's nice over there. Look at that oh, okay. architecture. Right. Well, My take, which would be yeah, quite no humorous. Yeah, but nobody wants to it's boring footage. Don't you understand that? I'm here to help you get some good footage on our journey. Listen, at the end of the day, this is all about reporting, okay? <laughs> the fact that we need to report to the viewers out there, put that on me. It is on you. Yeah, no, don't, don't start you looking at that. You, you, the, and the fact that we were sat for over an hour oh, in sure. a petrol station, waiting for fuel and it was nothing to do with the fact that there was a shortage of fuel or anything like that so it was just the way in which the public and the way that the staff 
ran that particular establishment, have it was appalling. No, because we need to get into the facts here, because the people, the viewers don't know, okay? So we pull up to the petrol pumps, okay? And then we're about maybe four or five vans behind. And why is it taking so long? We don't know. It's taking forever for the van in front to move and the next van, the next van. Once we get to the pump, we establish that A, the uh, automatic one that you pay with your card isn't working. So therefore you have to go to the manual one and therefore pay at the kiosk. But because of the ensuing queue of hundreds of cars behind us, what Joe Public thought was a good idea, oh, well, we'll get out of our car whilst we're waiting, go into the petrol station, use the toilets, the food, etc., and then clog up the queues. So then the cashiers didn't have one particular cashier that was just trying to get the pumps sorted and get all those guys off the pumps. No, they were doing everybody because all the fuckers behind were getting out of their cars to clog up the fucking cashiers for people that were trying to generally just pay for fuel and get the foxtrot out there. And then not only that, when you got to the cashier, the cashier turned out to be a barrister, a hot dog maker, a fucking sandwich maker, <laughs> and they were doing all of that as well. Like, it was like, so I'm sorry, you know, that petrol station needed an octopus to bloody operate it. Right. Thank you, Rob, for that. That's really interesting. That's another 20 minutes of my life I'll never get back. That's another 20 minutes of someone else's life that they'll find interesting. We are in Romania. How good is that? We had a little wait at the border and uh, we got through the Hungarian checkpoint, took out passports. I don't even I haven't even checked, but I heard the <coughs> so they definitely stamped it. Stamped Karen's with um, nightmare. <laughs> stamped mine with cool guy. Oh, so God, um, you know, so so we are through. <laughs> we didn't get uh, searched or anything like that because I was like expecting. That, well, I mean, it's not the first time that I've been searched, but they didn't search me, um, which is a shame because I put on clean underpants today as well. So, You're so gross, it's unbelievable. But anyway, never mind. So we are now. Uh, 38 kilometers away from Arad and that's where we're going to stay tonight and then tomorrow morning we'll carry on through to the east of Romania and start our rescue work to our final destination and see in which way we can help with the moggies and doggies Yay. and food delivering food delivering food Bye-bye, Roberto. Bye -bye,